This is nobody the turnaround. Let's take a look. <clears throat> Choose your story. This is just a demo. <clears throat> the only thing we can play is Debt Trap. Your father got stuck in high gambling debts, ran away, leaving your family behind. After being harassed by debt collectors for several times, your mother got sick and was admitted to the hospital. As the eldest son of the family, you had no choice but to leave your younger sister at home to take care of your mother. It was time for you to work hard and pay off all the debts. Boy, this just sounds like a rip-roaring good time. The power fantasy of video games. <laughs> There's only one heroism in the world, to see the world as it is and to love it. <clears throat> I like how this dude is put in as Loan Shark. 6.40 a.m., I guess? Yo, kid, you know you owe me money, right? Your deadbeat dad's on the run, so the debt is now on you. Don't play dead. I know you're there. Township Public High School, sophomore year, class one. Did I get it right? What do you want, you fucking fucks? Hey, it looks like somebody has a younger sister, eh? Chillax, we're civilized people. Fork over the 10k you owe and all is good. I don't have money. I know, right? <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> you need time to make it. I'm nice enough to get you to get you a grace period. Pay up in a month. There's an interest, of course, a hundred per day. Before you say it, this is totally legal. What? <laughs> the loan has your whole family's names on it as co borrowers. We had no idea he was gambling the loan away. None of my damn business. The debt passes down. You bolt like your dad. Your sister's on the radar. Might as well hand it to her. Girls make money easy. Catch my drift. Shut the fuck up. Don't ever touch Yao Yao. Or I'm going to fucking kill each of you. Haha, <laughs> that's the spirit. Just pay your debt. We won't have any of this bullshit. You waited a bit more. No message. No more message from the loan shark. Still, a conversation was too unnerving. You fight against the urge to call Yao Yao, and find it, and soon find it a lot losing cause. Hello, Yaozi, where are you? Huh, me? I'm at the market or pharmacy, picking up a prescription for mom. What happened? You sound totally weird. Good, the pharmacy. Yeah, I'm all good. Don't worry about me. Those debt collectors. They bother you recently. Who? Oh, you mean them? No, they've been leaving me alone since last time. The way she left the, henten the sentence hanging this last time must be a nasty ordeal to her. Listen, this is all my fault. I'm so sorry. Don't be. It's all that bastard's fault. That bastard, aka your father, is nowhere to be found. Yow yow. It's burning with rage just mentioning him. You're too frustrated to say anything. Awkward silence until yow yow breaks it with a sigh. Okay, enough of that. How have you been? Healthy as a horse. <laughs> Traits, hunk. Okay. <laughs> Healthy as a horse. Why ask? Take good care of yourself. We don't want you to fall sick when mom's getting better, do we? No worries. I'll go to the city when mom's... A I'll go... Got? I'll go to the city when mom's at least able to walk again. Let's work out a way to pay that stupid debt. I think I should mention this is made by Chinese devs. This is a Chinese made game. So some of the translation will be off and also I don't think any of the voiceover work is in is in uh, English at all. Say in school you wanted to say don't bother making money but you know she wouldn't listen. Sure, great. You're awfully sweet, you know. Whoever is going to date Whoever you're going to date doesn't deserve you, unless maybe he's as awesome as I am. That's a weird thing to say to your sister. World's best family, man. Ew, you're full of yourself and then some. Over the phone, you hear pharmacy's PA system announcing customer 52, your prescription's ready for pickup. Oops, my turn, gotta go. Don't forget. 
Yeah, I know. Take good care of myself, right? You feel a bit better knowing Yao Yao is all right. This is a weird way to pick traits. I kind of enjoy it, though. That's kind of neat. How depending on what you want to say and will, like, determine your personality and give you kind of a trait associated with that. Makes sense, I suppose. Next up is Longgang Village. Don't miss your stop. It's your stop. You grab a backpack, stand up, and suddenly screech. A high shrill gone as quickly as it came. It's nothing. You must be hearing things. You tell yourself and get off the bus. So, I did play this and do one thing. And you can do this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Liangzai, just off the bus, you're approached by a middle-aged woman carrying a sign of sorts and a big smile. Hey there, need a room? Got plenty in my hostel. Share door all to yourself. It's practically next door to the job center. Got lots of job seekers renting all the time. You wave her off. You've learned to not trust overly friendly strangers. No, but you need a place for the night, right? She's persistent. A conversation is inevitable. The sidewalk looks comfy enough. Are you kidding? It's cold at night and, of course, not safe. Okay, here's a deal I give to new renters. A free bed for the night. Rent a room tomorrow and you, if you have money. What do you say? She shoves a sign in your face. Lousy room, at least you're sheltered from the elements and thieves. Simple bed, bathroom, laundry facilities for you to clean up. Okay, do a shared room. So we have a mood wheel here by the looks of it. Okay. Keen level two, settle all emotions by 0.5 per hour. Angry, do balloons, shoot balloons or do sports. Let off some steam. Upbeat, depressed. Give yourself a treat or go dancing. Confident insecure. There are quite a few things to regain confidence, like shooting hoops or having a nice foot bath. Right. An overwhelmingly stinky trash bin. Hey guys, it's me. I didn't realize I was in here. This way to the job center. Pretty girl greets you the moment you walk into the job center. How are you doing? Interested in vocational training? She's like a summer breeze. Sweet smile brightens up your day. Her name says Lee Yuran. Um, pardon? We're a nonprofit vocational training school offering co courses like cooking, welding, and automotive servicing. These jobs are in high demand with decent pay. Your mind unravels. What up, Plu Joshi? Your mind unravels her expecting gaze. It took you her Herculean effort to produce an answer. I can't afford. Practically no cost. We're covered by government subsidies. There's scholarship if you pass the entry exam, pretty much covering the entire tuition. You can take the exam now if it sounds reasonable. Sure. Oh, we're actually doing a, a thing. One minus two, negative one. Wait. Wait, what? I'm sorry, am I like completely stupid? Is this, is this not the same question? Uh, this is all division. 
So 36 divided by 4 is 9 divided by 3 is 3. Uh, 5 times 5 is 25, plus 5 is 30. This is 1, 1, 1, 1. If you cut off one of the angles in a triangle... If you cut off one of the angles in the triangle, how many angles are left? This seems like a trick question. This also still seems like a trick question, but I'll have to see after, I guess. Chickens and rabbits put in the same cage. And 30 feet. Chickens and rabbits put in the same cage. And 30 feet could be seen. What? If there's five rabbits among them, how many chickens are there in the cage? Oh, 30 feet. Okay, as in their actual feet, not like the measurement of uh, di of like distance or space. Holy shit. Okay. So five, if there's five rabbits, that's 20. So probably 10 feet left. So five, I guess. Capital city of China is Beijing. Please type the capitalized alphabet from A to Z. Wait, what is it? Click here to type. Wait. I don't know if they want commas or not. I guess we'll just go with that. Yeah, I still don't actually know what the fuck they mean by this here. Congratulations, you've passed administration exam. Great. Can I not talk to you? Oh, there we go. Anything else I can help you with? May I send you a friend request on WhatsApp? No need, just leave your phone and email, we'll be in touch. Well, had to try, right? Wait. How was it backwards? I don't... Is this like a Chinese thing? Like, I don't understand what the lines mean. The triangle one seems strange. This one, if you cut off one of the angles... Oh, no. You have four. Ugh. Oh, it's the absolute value? Hold on. That... I needed to think the triangle went through more. Anyway. As about advanced jobs. Car service. Delivery guy.
Charming to play brand mascot. Five hour shift. Why don't we try it? Job not unlocked. Okay. Well, that makes that easy. Look at the bulletin board here. Job broker. New boy looking for a job, go check board. Gig jobs are all there. To make 10k within a month, gig jobs are pretty much your only hope. By gig jobs, I mean those paying by the day. I accidentally clicked on something when I wasn't meaning to. Oh well. Oh well. Uh, the only thing you're qualified, it seems, is moving bricks on construction site. Are there any alternatives? Not yet. Leave your phone number. I'll call when something else comes up. You may get injured. Brick mover. Five hours. Tough exp up. Relations. Hygiene down. Neatness down. High tough is ideal for this job. Uh, press F to pick up, follow icons where it's supposed to go. Okay, hold on. I seriously can't enter my menu right now. This is so loud. I picked up the wrong brick. Oh, shit. Put them down, dipshit. Oh, look at these guys. You're wasted after four hours of heavy lifting. Time to get your pay from the foreman. The foreman addresses you with half glance, push over a tiny pile of tattered money. And that was that. Petty wedge doesn't even deserve counting, but you did it anyways. Turns out it's 30 yen short. Hey, this is 30 short. A smirk. New boy on the job. It's in the rules. The foreman takes a small cut in the first pay processing fee. He's not even looking in your general direction. How many shifts did you cover? One, I'm already giving a discount or you would have nothing left. The argument is attracting attention. Several guys are closing in the air around them. <laughs> Seems to spell bullies. You can't just exploit new workers like that. This is Amazon, kid. We make the rules. Saying that, you try to grab him and shake 30 yen off his gloating body. I make the rules I sure fucking can. <laughs> the foreman kicks you right in the belly. <laughs> Angry plus 55. His minions fall upon you before you regain your breath. They beat you up and fled before the cops showed up. Like, does it matter? They're gonna come back to finish the job. And that was the first day. <laughs> Hung
之中攀上走过的路。All right, this has to be turned down. That is ridiculously loud. 
Slow day, supervisor still paid you in full, told you to enjoy life. Nice. Hey, man. Guy in a white hard hat approaches you at the construction site. Excuse me, I left my wallet at home. Could you lend me eight kwai for lunch? Sure. I've seen you a few times. What do you do? I'm on day pay job. You mean moving bricks? Oh, hey, how did you know? Because the only day pay job here is moving bricks. I'm Cal, the supervisor. Nice to meet you. You have no idea what a supervisor is. Sounds awesome, though, being super and stuff. Oh, apparently my character's a moron. <laughs> nice to meet you, sir. You found this job through broker, right? Yeah, there's a bulletin board at the job center. What a supervisor doesn't even have eight bucks to fucking feed himself. What a giant piece of shit. Well, you can come here anytime you want without the middleman. If anyone asks, say you're referred by Mr. Cow. He points the side entrance, indicating the door is always open for you. Great. I should save you some broker fee. Don't serve me. Have a good day. I'll have your money back next time. Okay, we do have a map. Can I not move it though? City map. Wait, current. A row of shared bikes. Take a bike. That guy buys scrap metal and cardboard and shit. Girl kneels on the sidewalk. Backpack's supposed to be a school bag. I don't have the means to care, unfortunately, right now. <clears throat> Task accepted. The dude. The corner in the park is always busy with activities. Lots of people are watching. Some people play kind of poker in the game. You might join them just for the sake of it. A young man. A few young men around a guy who's known as the dude. Shuffling and dealing cards quite professionally. Everyone. There's a small pile of money in front of everyone. A moment later, a middle-aged man joined them. They call him Mr. Big. Shows He's showing his phone screen around with what looks like a website. Game's about to start. Challenge your skill. Walk home with loads of money. You're new here. Join us for a game. Could win big time. Yeah, we're not doing that. No gambling for me. I guess I passed the convenience store. That's fine. Kind of wanted to look around anyway. Gambling never ends well. Pretty much. That's pretty much what I'm thinking too. Buying something? Nope, just looking around the store. You notice a business permit on the wall with the phone owner's photo. Don't flatter me. This hole in the wall ain't no store. Are you hiring? Small business normally can handle everything myself. Some suppliers are asking me to do joint promotion. I need someone to experience and of flyers. You can come back later when you have flyer handing experience. Can you imagine? That's pretty much, that's so real though. Like, well, do you have experience answering the phone and then pressing a button to transfer it? You don't? Oh, well then fuck you. 
<laughs> we need somebody with a master's degree to answer the phones here. Who else is going to take $3 an hour to do a basic job nobody else wants to do? Washing comms? The only proper place to sell smartphones in the slum. Everything that is authentic, new, and covered by warranty. Steaming hot. You walk into the steaming hot welcome of the store owner. <laughs> steaming hot welcome. Welcome. And he said welcome is visibly less warm when he has a better look of you. Feel free to look around flagships on the side, affordable ones on the other side. Checking out price tags, you know some business cards. You have something cheaper, maybe. Kind of cheaper, maybe? Oh, sorry, ass phones, you mean? No. Nope. Kind of ask used phone dealers, maybe. So what do we have? We have 205. Um, it's going to take 40 for the night. And then we have to pay this 100 fee. Oh. Take the room. Oh, it's 20 a night, actually. Okay, we'll do 20 for the night. I guess we're going to go shoot balloons. Let's pet the stray dog first. worth it. Oh, the park's closed, isn't it? What's your business? You need errands, boy. Nothing just passing by. Copier keys, 15 each. Can I not just go to bed? Yeah, end day. Wake up, it's payday. Pay a hundred. cooking up fried dough sounds delicious
年少都会轻狂，心胸装满天涯，随梦扬起的白帆。我是秦天乐。Do a quick wash. Sixteen dollars an hour, eight hours a day. Real job, not a scam. Quick day pay job. Hold your spot. Hand out flyers. Collect phone number. Let's just keep moving bricks, man. Oh wait. We should just go there, though, right? Then we save on the broker fee. I'm the new brick mover referred by Mr. Cal. Oh, hey, I'm injured. Fantastic. I love when that happens. Small injury, negative three cool per hour. Can't run. Walk speed reduced to 80%. Fan-fucking-tastic. Why am I hungry again? Got a classy dude there. Everything's overpriced these days. Don't get me started on the price of gas. That way. Brick mover, strong man, reflex, base wage. Start the game with tough level two. Plus 20, cool if you wake up with more cash than yesterday. Interesting, okay.
Am I controlling this? I actually can't tell. Weird. Ring toss. Ring toss is always a scam. Don't ring toss. Ever. Go back to the hostel. Am I locked in here? Or is it just that gate that's locked? Guess we're gonna find out pretty fucking quick. <laughs> These aunties occupy basketball court every day at sundown. Their upbeat music and moves make your dance muscles kind of itchy. Hell yeah, let's do it. You're too tired for this activity. Ask them to leave. All right, we got to get healed up so tomorrow we can dance. always time to pet the stray dog. <laughs> I'm guessing it's going to be expensive to get helped here at the clinic, but let's take a look. Can I help you? May mobbing, mobbing? Doctor comes out of the back room. I got this injury. Simple dressing, you're as good as new. 30, either cash or mobile payment. Fuck, bummer. Pretty, pretty pricey. Oh well, at least it'll get better, I guess. Payday. Fucking loan shark piece of shit. With local outbreaks under control, more city blocks are released from quarantine. Yet there are still quarantine zones. At this rate, it won't take long to clear all city blocks. Hello? Miss Lee? Got a community looking for a security job. Kind of urgent. Interested? What's the daily wage? Pay's not great, but not bad either. They want someone like right now. There's a $200 bonus if you apply now. I'll take 50 out of your 200 broker fee. Twenty-five percent cut. I got mouths to feed. No bargain. 
I have to take it? Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, that's such fucking horse shit. Okay, so go east. Here's a box of face masks. Could you take to the vaccination booth? Next to the job center, they called they're running out. Fine. Yes, I know. So I have, I have two. I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have bothered getting treatment. Put on a table, not a shake hands during the pandemic. Whatever. Respect is nice and all, but why don't you give me like fucking five bucks or something to get breakfast? Okay. All of a sudden, soiled, I guess. Sure. <laughs> this job better pay well. That pachinko? Oh, slot machines? Yeah, I know. A jar door. How can a door be a jar? The Metal Gear Solid Pachinko. Where am I going to? Security guard just at the end here. Great, I'm glad to be going to be security at this place looking like this. Guess it's over here somewhere. Probably here. Can I help you? We need security guards if you're interested, sure. Income 170, huh? You don't have the skill for this. What, negotiate? What are they asking for here? Does it even say on here what they require? Oh. Oh my god, just step over the chain, dude.
Well, there goes all my cash down to zero, essentially. But. Gotta make money somehow. Insecure. Oh no. Oh, it's you. Here's the money I owe you. Ah, thanks. Bring your own gloves and hard hat next time. I mean, for proper protection. Those job issued ones are crap. He points to the roll of peddlers behind you. Guarantee your safety. Sure. That seems probably pretty important. Now go find a bath. Or a sink we can take a whore's bath in. Here we go. Alright, time to dance. Where on earth have you been? Oh shit, okay. Okay, you have to push them in order, not hold them. Oh shit, I wasn't paying attention. Oh fuck. Fuck. Good lord. Try again. Oh, 
Gotta go find the hostel quickly. Laundry facilities for you to clean up. Okay, I guess we're having to do this. How do we use the laundry facility though? End day. I don't have money. Debbie, like your dad, huh? All right. Anyways, <laughs> I guess they killed our sister. We're done looking at this for now. Anyways, this is nobody the turnaround. This is the demo that's out right now on Steam. You can play it if you want. Yeah, it reminds me of Cart Life a lot. <laughs> it has that same that same feel as Cart Life. <laughs> 